Hi everyone, and today we're going to talk about palm sanders. Specifically, this Hercules 2.4 amp corded. We'll talk about it and then we'll do a demonstration about it. I've had this for a couple years now and I use it for building furniture. I build a lot of the furniture for my house because I like solid wood. And it's difficult to find things out of solid wood these days. So, and I got the tools to do it. Why not? Now, one thing we're going to jump over to the Harbor Freight website. I'm just going to show you that tool real quick. And if, and if you're familiar with uh, Harbor Freight, you know, it's of course we know that Hercules line is a top tier kind of the pro line, and we got that bar line next tier down. And of course, we got the warrior line, which is that bottom tier line. And Hercules competes against DeWalt and Milwaukee, and they're brave enough to put on their website, right? So if you look, it's comparing it to that DeWalt there, that EWE 6411K. So we're going to jump over to the Home Depot website real quick. I'm going to just take a quick peek on that. So it's $64.9, and, and, and it's a 2.3 amp at 14,000 orbits per minute, and the Hercules one is 2.4 at 15,000 orbits per minute, all right? Now these are quarter column quarter sheet sanders because they use a quarter sheet of a piece of full piece sandpaper. And we'll, we'll show you that, what type of sandpapers you can use. You can cut your own, you can cut your own one too, all right? So this is one thing this is different about this is that this got a hook and loop on it. Okay. Or you can cut your own and use these clamps. This is very common. This clamp system has been around for many, many years on these type of quarter sheet sanders. Um, my very first one's a black and decker from like 1983 that you know had that system on it. So you can use a hook and loop, which is easy, right? Or else you can buy the pre-made packs like this. These Hercules uh, sand cheeks are actually really good. They got really good reviews. I've had pretty good luck with them. You know, sheets like that. Okay. Or I wonder how many of you have a pile of sandpaper like this, right? Right? I mean, every project, go get sandpaper and you accumulate it. Okay. So, if you have a lot of this, you can cut your own because it's cost effective. <laughs> Especially if you have as much sandpaper as I do there. So, I'll demonstrate that. We'll cut a piece. We'll cut a piece and put it on there. And one thing about this tool that happened to me, and this is my fault, not the follow tools that this clip I dropped I dropped it hit a corner and I grow broke the clip off on that side okay there's two clips on it I just see I just super glued it because I don't see any reason why I'd ever take this part off again so I super glued it uh, the more important part was that you know this can come on off and, and of course that got the arrow where it, it locks and it shows the arrow where that locks in right and I just unlock it pulled out and then what you couldn't do, yeah, it comes with a little foam thing too. Now what you could do, right, you can hook your shop back up to it. Okay, if you want to collect that dust. And I'm using the Hercules shop back. That's all I use that for, is for, you know, working on a bench and doing this thing. Because this is nice. It's got some really flexible holes on it. And if you search my channel, you can, you know, I got a review on that and I talk about that. Okay. We're not going to use that today. I just want to show you that. Okay, we're going to put this back on. We're going to find that arrow again. Arrow, lock it in. And we're going to cut a piece here, because I'm going to show you how the, how you cut a piece here. All right, we're going to pull that off, because we're not going to use that. I already got some kind of cut. So this is off the sheet here. All right. And if you're using, if you're cutting a lot of this, you probably won't have a lock of wood. Um, 
press is pretty cool. That block over, you can just cut that out. So I'm going to I'm going to trace around this pre-made piece that came out of that pack. Like I said, black wood would be a little easier because that way you can trace around lots of them. I'll make a lot of them, All right? So I've got a Quinn shop scissors. I'd highly recommend this. If you don't have this, buy it. <laughs> Use it for cutting rigs, um, for cutting a blister pack. So some of those Harbor Freight packages, yeah, they're in there good. All right, and cut this. Oh, I, one thing about this tool too, which I'll, we'll go back to the website because I wanted to show you something else. One thing, make sure you cut these, don't cut them short. Maybe you want, like I did, just cut them a tad longer because I've cut these things, right? And they're just a tad short where they don't go on. An advantage of a cordless, right? We don't have the cord getting away. Unfortunately, there is no corded, cordless version of this uh, quarter inch sander yet from Hercules. Bauer has one, which I do have, and we'll be demonstrating that this week. We may see one. You know, that, that line's constantly expanding, right? So we could see a Hercules cordless uh, quarter inch sander in the future. So we got that side clamped down. We're going to lift the clamp up on this side and get that in there. Yeah, that's, that's the thing about make sure that you have enough in there so you can clamp that down, right? So now we have that, and and this is what this is for, so I can cut those dust holes in for it. Okay. These. All right. So they're kind of perfectly clean cuts. You know, I had a uh, someone comment said, hey, he just uses wood dolls to clean those up a little bit. I don't have any wood dolls, but I never thought of that. A wood doll would be sick in here to, you know, clean these up a little better, which I don't, again, I don't have right now. Okay, I'm gonna jump over to a tracking website. So I'll show you what this, now this tool uh, has gone on sale, if you look that that blue line, that's the price. And then that red line's a coupon. So if you look, it's come down in price. Well, it's, I mean, on the coupon, of course. And it's gone on sale a couple of times this year. So, you know, you take it, you add it to your list, right? And, you know, wait till it comes up on sale. Now, the only problem I have, I don't use the app. I actually use the website on my phone or this tablet. Um, both the app and website have one flaw. The max that list can go is 100. I did email support and asked them if they could increase that to 100 and possibly have multiple categories. You may have a category for cordless, may have a category for hand tools. So that list does not go beyond 100. Of course, it's been maxed out at 100 for a while. <laughs> Just so you know that if you, if you do use a, a website a lot like I do, that, that list does not go past 100. All right. So we got our holes cut, and we're good, just gonna do a sample sanding. Nothing big, this is, you can see how this works, how it runs. And then the more important thing, I actually, I clean my tools, keep them clean. I'm gonna show you how to clean this tool when we get done with this. All right, so we're gonna turn on, and we're just gonna do a little sanding here. And it help if I plug it in. <laughs> Fifty uh, grit sandpaper put in as well. Now, one thing about this, you watch my hand. This is a pretty solid tool, and there's very little vibration on it. So you can, I'm gonna turn on. Just watch my hand on the side here. You won't see any vibration in my hand at all. <laughs> it runs. 
runs really smooth. <laughs> All right, um, I'm gonna take this off because there's one thing I actually want to mention about this. This thing here, the bottom, and every single palm sander, orbital sander, whatever we got, these will eventually wear out. Lots, lots of times I wore, well, I actually didn't wear one on. I had a porter cable that was 30 years old that actually sat in my toolbox and actually decomposed. I did find a bottom for it and I replaced it. It was a corded cable that I had. Now, I'm going to show you one thing here and grab the bower because that's the only thing I got to compare it to right now. I couldn't. <clears throat> I will be doing a review on this at all. Now, this is a bar. This is a bar cordless. And if you look at this bottom, it's it's softer. It's not as good as that Hercules. You, of course, Hercules is our higher tier line, so I'm not I'm not really sure that's a really good comparison. But I just wanted to show you that uh, this on the Hercules is a lot harder. It's, it's a lot, a little bit better material on that Hercules. Okay, now the most important thing that you guys need to know is cleaning these tools. And I do have reviews on these two, on Hercules and Bauer. Which are the blowers, I only use these to clean my tools off. That's their sole purpose. I do have a big blower for everything else. And so you just take this, get down for your tools, clean them. They'll last a lot longer and you clean them. If you're, if you're a bar fan, get the bar. If you're a Hercules fan, get the Hercules. Oh. Yeah. All right, what do you think, guys? What do you use these sanders for? Are you building furniture? projects let me know that's it uh questions put in the comments i'd love to hear from you guys thanks for watching